everybody out to the 2018 edition of the Cross Country Coaches National Youth Championship. We're here on the campus, or the course rather, of E.P. Tom Sawyer Park in Louisville, Kentucky. This site has played host to uh, multiple national competitions, youth competitions all the way up to D1 Collegiate national championships. Yeah, this, this weekend last year where D1 Nationals was and uh, this, is the, I think this is the second year that uh, Tom Sawyer Park has the CCC and YC Nationals. So here we are, uh, just the start of the boys 15 to 18 year old 5K. So this can be scored in two meets. Uh, basically there's 15 and 16 year olds and then 17 and 18 year olds and they are off. Inset is a rear view, and the main screen is the front view. Once again, you're watching the 2018 Cross Country Coaches National Youth Championship. High school runners 15 through 18 in postseason national competition. All right, so a little bit about the teams here today. Um, always look out for Brokaw Blazer. Uh, I've done this event for... Oh gosh, I don't know how many years we've been covering this, and that's just, you always looking out for Brokaw Blazer, whether it's uh, the youth or when you get up to this uh, older age division. Um, other teams to be looking out for, Team Kentucky's fielding for some pretty good solid squads in both the 15, 16, and 17, 18 year old divisions. Uh, Jinx America, always in the mix as well. This, All right, this portion of the course looks like Austin Matthews uh, up there with a Delaware runner. Get that bib number, identify that runner here in just a moment. What part of the course is this at? This is probably this, about this is, uh, close to a mile. This is before the first little uh, bridge crossing or culvert crossing. It's in the back section of the course. We've looped around, I guess, uh, near the airport section, little model airport section. So this course is a little bit different than the last time we hosted this event at this course. Uh, now uh, they do two laps around the soccer field and they uh, go back towards the start line and then they head uh, towards the BMX uh, course and then they head to the finish line. So just a slight difference there, but pretty much uh, contains about 80% of the same course as uh, previous years. This course is known to be flat and fast. Austin K running with Seashore Striders was in the lead just a moment ago. We'll be taking you back to the race leaders in just a moment. Simon. A little difficult to judge who the uh, leading team is right now, uh, mainly because it's just uh, two different divisions combined. But uh, your obvious leaders right now it looks like uh, Seashore Striders and. Uh, Looks like there's a Brokaw Blazer and a Team Kentucky runner up front. That's Garrett Watts. Looks like they've broken away about 10, 20 meters, and now there's a chase back of about three. So you get your lead pack of about five runners there, and then you get chase back of three about 20 meters back. Garrett Watts running uh, for Team Kentucky. Madison Bill North Hopkins runner just competed a couple of weeks ago with Kentucky State track meet class three or cross country meet class 3a he was in the top 10 teammate christian parker was the state Great champion time. now back to the race leaders they'll be coming around here in just a moment almost set what's right at seven minutes into the race so this is probably about uh almost halfway at the halfway point of the race right now uh, the previous camera shot was a little bit over 2,000 meters. Great job! Great job! Orange! Orange! Austin Cave from Seashore Striders is in the lead. Runners to look for Connor O'Shea out of uh, Kentucky, running for Team Kentucky, I believe. This portion is they're going, this is probably about. They're starting their second loop right now around the soccer fields. They're going to go around them and then head back towards to uh, where uh, the start line is. And then they're going to head over, like I said, to the BMX course. 
and then uh, run past that at the tennis courts and head towards the finish line. So the course was changed because the NCAA, I believe they wanted a more fan-friendly and uh, easier access course, so they did a few modifications. But like I said, it maintains about 80% of what it was in the years prior. So there you get your lead pack of three now. It's like Brokaw Blazer, uh, the, I believe that's the Austin Matthews sitting there in second and in first place that's the Seashore Striders. Uh, is it Cave? Yeah, Austin Cave. Looks like there's a couple other Brokaw Blazers sitting there in fourth and fifth right now. About 20 meters back as they start rolling. JP Rutledge and Hadley Splechter there. Just ran past Go for uh, Brokaw Blazer. And here we got a couple Kentucky runners throwing. 1641, Jonah Mitchell just ran by. Might have been Christian Parker in there as well. Fourth really spreading out here. The team title, again, like we were saying before, between Brokaw, Blazer, Team Kentucky. Uh, not seeing a whole lot of Jinx America out this year. I believe that just everyone that ran past the screen there. This event has really grown over the last few years. Uh, those were almost the only three teams that ran. Now we got, uh, gosh, teams from all over, runners from Washington to uh, Delaware, Philadelphia, and all points in between. Colorado is where it represented uh, well here, as is our uh, state champions from Kansas, Missouri, Kentucky. Illinois, a lot of runners from the Chicago area. All right, we're taking you back to your leaders here. Approaching 4,000 meters into the course, it looks like we got the two leaders right now. That's Cave and Matthews. Looks like uh, the row call runner's falling back and now the, uh, his teammates are catching up to him. Looks like it's a two horse race right now. Don't count them out just yet. We still have a little bit over 1,000 meters to go at this point. And here's this uh, chase pack. Bunch of Team Kentucky. Team Kentucky in green as well as orange. I believe that the orange Team Kentucky is 17, 18 year olds and the green is 15, 16 year olds. So uh, I'm not sure about those Brokaw Blazers up front. But uh, those might be your 15, 16 year old leaders right there in that, in that uh, Kentucky pack right there. I pass by on the screen. Running parallel with the start of the course now. They'll make a uh, right turn, go across the start right around, I guess that would be right around about 400 meters into the start of the race. So make a cross at that point and uh, head down parallel to the finish, make a little loop, and then come back around to the finish here at EP Tom Sawyer Park. We're going to keep this camera view for a few more minutes and then uh, head over towards the finish line. We got that battle between Matthews and uh, okay. Cave. Um, Cave is from the uh, Kansas, I believe. No, he's from Delaware. Delaware, that's right. Runs for Del Mar High School. He was second at the Delaware State Cross Country meet held just a couple of weeks ago. Cave was, ran a 16-23. Has a whole bunch of first place finishes this year. He was first at the uh, Kennel Open Conference, if I'm saying that correctly. Had a 15-43.3. He was first at the Sussex County Cross Country Championship and fourth at the Joe O'Neill Invitational. PR of 15.29. Earlier in the season, he had three more invitationals that he was first place at. That's Austin Cave, the race leader for the most of the race. He's battling Austin Matthews, who was third at the Kentucky uh, State Cross Country meet. 
had the best time in Kentucky. Austin Matthews did. Heading into the state meet, we're going to take you on into the finish here in just a moment. You're watching the Cross Country Coaches National Championship. All right, coming into the straightaway. It's looking like it's going to be be a close one, but it's looking like Cave in the lead right now. No, no. It's Matthews. It's Matthews, sorry. Matthews coming in for a national title. Defeated, uh, I believe, the two individuals that bested him two weeks ago at the Kentucky uh, State Cross Country Meet with Austin Cave in second. Rokov Laser coming across. Matthews was beat by Christian Parker and Jonah Mitchell, both out of the western part of Kentucky, just a few weeks ago at the KHSAA State Cross Country Meet down in Lexington, Kentucky. And now he's come back and beat those two individuals who were competing for Team Kentucky uh, just to win a national title. Pendergast, Jack Pendergast from Brokaw Blazer was your 15, 16, or, yeah, 15, 16 year old. Uh, he was your champion at about 15.52. Another top performer that's crossed the finish line already, Hadley Splechter from uh, Yates Center High School running for Brokaw Blazer. First at the Kansas uh, cross, State Cross Country Meet. First in Region 2A in Kansas. First at the Pleasanton in the, in Invitational at the time of 15.56. And then he was third at the Rimrock Farms High School Cross Country Challenge, the first Kansas kid across the line. Rimrock is also the host of where the Kansas State Cross Country Meet is run. Had a PR of 15-18 and came in third at Rimrock, Hadley Splechter. All right, so results for your 17, 18-year-old age division. Your top five runners breaking 16. Uh, we had Matthews in 1527, K 1532, Adley Splechter 1544, and 1546 was J.P. Rutledge and Luke Spurrier from Team Kentucky rounding out your top five, 1559. And on your 15, your 16 year olds, that was Jack Pendergast, 1552 for the win, and Connor O'Shea from Team Kentucky, 16 flat, 1603 for Ryan Menard. And Tanner Lindell, 1617 and 1617.9. Griffin Stodd from Team Kentucky run out your top five for the 15, 16 year old age division. A little bit about J.P. Rutledge, who's already crossed the finish line. Ran a 16-10 at the Kansas State meet. He was fifth at Rimrock, which is the main Kansas uh, prep meet for the state meet. 1535 is what. Rutledge ran there. He was second at the Missouri Southern Stampede at the time of 1531. Runs for Riverton High School. On the track season, Rutledge uh, in the 3200 meter ran a time of 937 and was second at the Kansas State meet. Luke Spurrier from South Warren crossed the finish line already. Top performer at the uh, state meet for Kentucky. He was fifth at class in the Class 3A competition. First out of Region 2A. First at the Ryan Snellen Invitational. First at the Bowling Green Warren Sky Conference Purple Strider Invitational. Warren East Raider Twilight. And he was sixth last year at the Kentucky Dream Mile. That's Luke Spurrier, one of your top performers here today. Jonah Mitchell from Muhlenberg County. He was uh, battling it out with uh, Christian Parker at the state meet. He's come in and one of the top performers here today. He was second at the Kentucky State meet in class 3A. At the meet of champions, he ran a 1551.73, second at Fast Cats. Christian Parker, he's battled it out with Jonah Mitchell. Christian took top honors at the uh, 
Kentucky Class 3A State meet. Mitchell and uh, Parker have battled it out 27 times prior to the day in the 5K competition. Today uh, makes the 28th time that they've battled each other. Christian Parker claimed top honors over Jonah Mitchell again today. So that out of the uh, 28 times that they've competed against each other, Parker has the lead. Of course, Parker's a senior and Mitchell is a junior, so Mitchell uh, has nothing to be ashamed of there. Back to the champion today. Congratulations go out to our champion, Austin Matthews. Kind of vindicated himself over the two individuals that bested him at the Kentucky uh, State Cross Country Championship held just two weeks ago. Today's champion, Austin Matthews. Hey, we have uh, a little bit of uh, <coughs> more about Austin. He uh, was first at the Fayette County Championship, second at the Franklin County Invitational, first at the Bluegrass Invitational, and first at Henry Clay Tanner Duke Invitational. More finish results for you. We've already given you the top five finishers from 17-18. In sixth place, Christian Parker. Seventh place, Jonah Mitchell. Eighth place, Caleb Bolas. Ninth place, Kale Carson. 10th place, Brock Fisher. 11th place, Elias Sandifer. 12th place, Michael Scott. 13th, Garrett Watts. I believe that's a teammate of Christian Parker's Madisonville North Hopkins. Kyle Embry, 14th, and rounding out the top 15, Ethan Thomas. That's boys 17 and 18 year olds. 6 through 15 in the 15 and 16 year olds. Sixth place, Schneiders. Seventh, Needig. Eighth, LeBru. Ninth, Walker. Tenth, Sandoval Daniels. Eleventh, Robinson. Twelve, Watts. Thirteenth, Howe. Fourteenth, Mason. Fifteenth, Lopez. Running for the Elgin Sharks. Good job. You're watching the 2018 edition of the Cross Country Coaches National Youth Championship here at EP Tom Sawyer Park in Louisville, Kentucky. Last year we were at Voice of America Park. The year before that in Evansville. This makes the, uh, I believe, the eighth year that we've provided video coverage of this growing event where all kinds of individuals are being crowned with top honors to finish off their 2018 cross country season. Some will be going on to compete at Nike Cross Nationals, Foot Locker, AAU, or USATF. After this finish, we'll be taking you to the inter an interview with our top runners here at the boys 15 through 18 race. Oh, don't leave that open. We're at the uh, finish line with uh, Austin Matthews and Austin Keeve, the one and two runners in the uh, high school boys race. Uh, Matthews, tell me a little bit about your race. Yes, sir. We went out really quick. I was, I was obviously we carried through two miles. I think it was like 9:40, mm -hmm. and then uh, kind of hurt a little bit the last mile. But we were pushing each other the entire time. I didn't know how far back like each person was, but it was obvious that me and him were uh, we're going to be duking it out. So it was fun. Now, Thanks this man, you signed with East Carolina. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Tell me a little bit about that decision. Yeah. So I visited. Actually, East Carolina back in August, and kind of just working through the process, trying to get it done early. And I took four visits. It was UK, uh, EKU, uh, CSU, and ECU. And then ultimately decided that ECU was a place for me. I really like the coach and the program there. The guys are awesome. 
and I just really feel like we're going to do something special in the next couple of years there, so I'm excited for that. Sounds great. Uh, also, tell me a little bit about your race today. Uh, we definitely took it out fast, the first mile. I took it over about mile one to mile two, and then after mile two, me and him were, he called, he was right next to me, and I knew he was there. We kept fighting, and about a quarter mile left, he turned on the kickers, and I didn't have much left in my legs, but I tried to hold him for as long as I could. It's a hell of a kick, though. Good job. <laughs> Yeah, you got made to see. Now, what uh, high school do you run for? Uh, Del Mar. Uh, it's in Delaware, so it's a little about 12 hours away. Okay. Well, congratulations. We have the top two finishers in the boys' high school race here at the Cross Country Coaches National Youth Championship. Dalton Nunn. In 22nd place, Noah Halloran. In 20th place, Samuel Lanham. In 18th place, Owen Sovereign. In 17th place, Phoenix Randleman. Your 16th place finisher, Josh Myman. Emmanuel Lopez. <laughs> In fourteenth place, Drew Mason. Your thirteenth place finisher is Michael Howell. At our 24th place finisher in 24th, Grant Thompson. In 12th place, Jackson Watts. In 11th, TJ Robinson. In 10th place, Ruben Sandoval Daniels. In 9th place, Tyler Walker. Missing our 8th place finisher. Our 7th place finisher is Liam Nidig. In sixth place, DK Schneiders. In fifth place with a time of 1617.9 from Team Kentucky Green, Griffin Saudi. Your fourth place finisher with a time of 1617.4 from Brokaw Blazers, Tanner Lindahl. In third, with a time of 16.03 from Team Kentucky Green, Ryan Maynard. Your runner up with a time of 16 flat point three from Team Kentucky Green, Connor O'Shea. And your 15 to 16 year old champion with a time of 1552 from Brokaw Blazers, Jack Pendergast.